Hi, welcome to technology part two. Hey, okay. In the part one, let's review past part one. In the part one, we discussed what is Bluetooth, uh, why Bluetooth was used, and uh, what are the different uh, types of Bluetooth models uh, available: Bluetooth 2.0, 3.0, 4.0, and 5. So broadly, uh, the classification of Bluetooth in into Bluetooth uh, Classic and Bluetooth Low Energy. Okay. So moving forward, uh, today we'll be discussing about Bluetooth Low Energy Protocol, and uh, let's start. So, Bluetooth Low Energy for the Bluetooth Low Energy, uh, we have three layers. First is physical layer, then there is BLE protocol stock stack layer, and then there is BLE application. So uh, the physical layer contains the uh, PCB, the BLE IC, uh, the chip antenna, or the PCB antenna, balloon, and all that hardware peripherals. Okay. So uh, moving forward, BLE protocol stack consists of three components: gap, GAT, and profiles. So we'll be discussing in this uh, session in detail about gap, GAT, and the profiles. So on top of Bluetooth uh, protocol stack, there is application, which the developers use. For connecting, disconnecting, and exchanging the data. Okay, so GAP stands for Generic Access. It is used for uh, the the Generic Access profile is used for device discovery, connection management, and security. Okay, and then GAT G Generic GAT stands for Generic Attribute Profile. So once the device is discovered and connected using GAP, then the GAT comes into picture, and then it it deals with the communication uh, between the devices. Okay, and the third uh, th third term which comes is profiles. So profiles is a collection of services uh, basically, and uh, uh, the, the the designers and Bluetooth special information group has defined a lot of profiles so that people can use directly those profiles and develop their application. So, generic access profile. So, the responsibility of generic access profile is to control the connection and advertising in Bluetooth. Okay, it is responsible for device discovery, connection, and security in devices, and so on. Okay. So, for example, let us consider that uh, two devices are communicating to each other. So, one is BLE central, the other is BLE peripheral. So, the, what GAP does is. For the BLE central, it has assigned the responsibility of scanning for the devices, and for the BLE peripherals, it has assigned the responsibility uh, responsibility of advertising. So, the central scans and uh, lists out what all devices are, are available in range. So, it, it has found two devices, peripheral one and peripheral two. So, now what happens is, after scanning, what happens is uh, gaps, uh, you know, after uh, yeah, gaps role is then connection. To the BLE peripheral and BLE peripheral one and two, and then its job is done. Then now GAT takes over. Okay, so let us understand briefly what is BLE central and BLE peripheral. Okay, so central is the device which scans, okay. uh, basically mobile phone, tablet, or a PC which has uh, uh, you know Bluetooth enabled is a type of central device. So it it is the one which is scanning for the Bluetooth devices available in range and then connect to them, and then peripheral de device is one which sends advertisements. Basically, it is a small low power devices, the low power device, usually operating on coin cell, coin cell battery or small lithium ion batteries. Examples of uh, peripheral devices are heart rate monitor, proximity tag, and so on. Cat generic attribute profile. So once what happens is once the device is discovered and connected. Then the uh, then what happens is the communication has to take place, data transfer has to take place. So this is where GAT's role comes in. So the GAT defines the transfer mechanism between uh, between the devices using services and characteristic. Okay, so we are using two terms here, characteristic and service. Okay, characteristic is the uh, data holder basically. It is represented by 16 or 21 bit ID. Okay. And the service is a group of characteristics. It means that it is a group of uh, customized data holders. Okay, 
uh, if we if we see the picture uh, here on the side we can observe that a service is a group of characters characteristics and the profile is a group of services okay so let us see some examples of uh, characteristics and services for example uh, for your application we have developed a BLE wireless UART service okay so in, in that you will have to use two character characteristics or data holders one for TX data and the other for RX data okay so let us take uh, what are the examples for service so suppose you have implemented a heart risk heart rate service okay and uh, for the heart rate service there are there have to be three characteristics first one heart rate measurement is compulsory body sensor location heart rate control point that is uh, uh, not compulsory it's optional okay so this is uh, an example of service moving forward we will go to profiles so profile is a collection of services and services is again a collection of characteristics okay so profiles are the ones which are described by the application developer or bluetooth sig bluetooth special information group so uh, they have made uh, they have classified various profiles so that it will be easy for the application developer to just see this profile and then implement the characteristic and service and then he then he can uh, uh, complete the application easily okay so what all what are all the different profiles available in the market uh, available readily for use so there are healthcare profiles example is blood pressure profile and glucose profile there is sports and fitness profiles uh, heart rate profile and cycling power profile comes in into in that and then there is hid connectivity profile where uh, joysticks keyboards and all they come uh, they come in that and and then uh, and then there is proximity sensing profile uh, where uh, where there is find me profile and proximity profile for uh, searching where where the devices are uh, where we are with respect to the device it, it gives okay the technology internally used is all uh, bluetooth low energy okay for example let us consider uh, we take a HID example. So consider, for uh, for example, we take a joystick. So what happens basically is uh, this joystick is con uh, is connected wirelessly by Bluetooth to a, a PlayStation or, or or some other console. Okay. So what happens basically is the console is the central device here, and the joystick is the peripheral device. Okay. So, and peripheral uh, peripheral device or the joystick it sends its advertisement. It sends its ID periodically. Maybe once in a second, or once you know, or, or ten times in a second, it sends its ID periodically, and uh, the the central or the console or the PlayStation, it receives uh, it receives the ID. But what happens is the connection is not established. The the reason is till any button is pressed pressed on the console, the communication and all is not initiated. So what happens is once we press the button on the console, the communication gets established and then the console receives the data the reason is uh, we, bluetooth low energy is optimized for power uh, is power optimized so whenever uh, the device is working uh, then only we will turn on the device other times the device will be sleeping okay uh, consider the example of proximity sensor for example if you see the device tile so this device tile has internally a bluetooth uh, peripheral uh, inside it it operates on a coin cell battery so it is used basically for uh, tracking lost devices. For example, we connect it to our keychain. Okay, we'll, we'll connect it to a keychain, uh, and then suppose if we lose our keychain, okay, what we have to do is we just have to switch on our mobile phone, open the trial app, and say scan. So the app says where we are, how, how much distance away we are from this, uh, from this, from our keychain. Key uh, this is happening by uh, by by the use of proximity profile. Where it gives us the distance based on the signal strength. So, uh, so in uh, so so this was a brief uh, introduction of the profiles, uh, and uh, then uh, moving forward, uh, uh, we'll be discussing more about the use cases and all for Bluetooth Low Energy and what all all the products have readily available products in the uh, market for Bluetooth Low Energy, which we can use and then uh, use for our applications. So we'll be discussing that in the later sessions. Okay. So that's all for today. Thank you.